What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. We're back out here at the local golf course again. If you notice, there's a dredger here behind me. We're gonna actually get in and dredge some of the sand out. Uh, the golf course decided they was going to rent a dredger and they want us to operate it. Now their maintenance crew has actually already got in and dredged some of the sand out. Our job is actually get in and really fine tune that dredging. We're gonna get down to the water pump itself, dredge all the way up underneath it, try to get a hole dug, and then we're gonna also try our best to dredge a canal up in front of it, which hopefully will prevent them in the future having too much issues. I still think they're gonna have to put some type of guard system or a deflector in the water to kind of deflect that sand away, but we're gonna do what we can today. Uh, like I said, when we do jobs like this, sometimes we run into problems, just like you saw in our previous video when we were here, and we just gotta problem solve and see what we gotta do to, uh, to get work through it. Just like any other problem you have in scuba diving, you're gonna stop everything you're doing and breathe, think about what's causing a problem, breathe, and then of course act accordingly to fix that problem that's exactly what we did here the other day we had an issue we come out we regrouped they agreed that they were gonna rent a dredge and then we're gonna come out and operate it for them but we're gonna get dressed out we're gonna jump in and hopefully I can get you some good footage
getting it unstuck so I can pull it? I can't pull it. All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the trouble that we have a lot of times when we do this. If you can see, Jason's trying to actually disconnect the two hoses. A lot of times when we're down here sucking up leaves and sticks and mud, these hoses will actually get too clotted up with that stuff for the suction to uh, keep going, and the dredge will actually lose its prime, so it just quits sucking all together. Well, for us to get it reprimed, we actually have to clean out these hoses, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're gonna get, we're gonna let gravity work for us. We're gonna stick a water hose in one end. We're gonna let it fill up with water, shove it down until we hit the debris or whatnot and just let it flow itself. Once the hoses are clear, then we should be able to hook them back up and continue on.
All right, guys, so we just got finished up. We had a very successful dive, kind of a stressful dive because we had to keep stopping, cleaning out the pump, and then going. So we got our dredge here. We've actually knocked down quite a bit where it was about 10 inches the other day. We've actually knocked it down to about three foot. And then the main hole, we've got it back down to about six foot. And then we actually dug up underneath the water pump. So we've got it down around that seven foot mark. Hopefully them guys will be able to get the pump up and going, get their waterfall up and going. Uh, I kind of have my doubts. I think they're going to have to kind of rebuild the impeller in it, but we're going to see. But we've got the water knocked down. And this tree back here, we've actually took the wall of sand and we've knocked it down about 10 foot past the tree. We didn't really get the canal that we were done just because the more that we sucked out, the more that came in. So, but thankfully we've got this whole wide area open now. We've got it knocked down. Hopefully their pump will work. They'll get the waterfall going and hopefully they'll have a good happy day here on the golf course. But guys, I appreciate you coming on this dive. I'm not sure how much underwater footage will actually get edited into the video here just because it was very risky for us trying to film, not get our hands sucked up. I do want to talk a little bit about when you use a dredge or some type of a water pump, differential pressure or what we call delta P is so dangerous to us divers. You know, I got my hand a little too close to that pump and of course it, it sucked it right to it. And Delta P can be deadly. If you get it any part of your body, of course it can blood, uh, pop blood vessels. You get it anywhere near your airway, it's gonna suck the air out of you. You know, I could have broke my hand if I got it up in there. So you always wanna be careful. I wanna show you something real quick. On these pumps here, they're gonna have these grates. And if you've seen our previous dives out here, you'll notice that there's a grate on the end of the water pump. What those are for is for a couple of things. Not only does it keep debris and stuff like that out, but let's say that it is a case of Delta P. If I was to get my hands sucked up against it, there's still plenty of places for water to go around so I can very easily pull my hand away. But let's say, for example, that's not there. Let's say that this is the end. If my hand completely encompasses or I get my arm stuck in there, there's not gonna be any way for water to kind of go around. So that Delta P is gonna lock my arm in there. It can break my bones. It can actually keep me under. And of course, if I run out of air, then that's very, very bad. So anytime that if you're doing work like this, you wanna make sure that there's a grate around the intake area. That way, if your hand or your arm gets sucked up, there's still plenty of room for water to go through. That way you can hopefully very easily be able to pull around. But if you're open, using just an open source like we were down there you want to be very careful there was a couple times when my hand got a little close and i could feel my fingers in there but thankfully there was plenty of room for that water to go around i could get my hands out but i do want to state if you're not properly trained for this i know you guys enjoy watching these videos i'm trained to do this if you're not please don't don't go out there and risk your life just for a couple hundred bucks it's definitely not worth it but guys if you got any questions and in, in any type of diving like this please put it down in the comment section below i really appreciate you watching these videos if you do like it hit that like button and definitely share it as well but as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.